This is a glimpse into my life. Life with Eric. Eric's here. And I'm Kylie. And I'm Eric. Okay, I think we know who you are. Oh. So you realized something this week, or really fully realized something this past week. What? You are technology illiterate, for sure. You're just realizing that this week? Like you I've been put, that way my whole life. I mean, right. But you like put the nail in the coffin of illiteracy. Of stupidity? <laughs> I was trying to be nice. What did I do again? Literally today, you asked me, why isn't this sending to you? I don't understand. I'm like, I don't know. I know. I was trying to send you that video clip. And then you're like, well, do you think it's because it's on airplane mode? It was on airplane <laughs> mode. I thought you could still send a text in the house on airplane uh, mode. You cannot. Maybe like a text. Maybe not a video, though. Right. Before we do this, I always put everything on airplane mode, so Which I thought you did just, it. Yeah, I get it. Well, but. look it. Now I know. <laughs> You learned something today. Yep. Now I know. I know a lot more about social media and more like, more about technology than ever in my whole life. Would you have been able to like function in like the worlds? One is like a single man, like dating apps and like Facebook and Instagram and all this stuff. Uh, I don't know. I've never been on a dating app. Swipe I know. right, swipe left, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what you do. I know. Like, could you have functioned in life? I don't know. I would have blown every date. Every time I, every time someone looked me up, I'd blow it. I'd be like texting her with airplane mode on or something <laughs> like that. I'm like, fuck. She doesn't, she's not responding. This is texting depressing. Texting with me. Yeah, this is depressing. She's not responding. You know, <laughs> even like, I remember when we we first started dating, you were like, I never really text anybody till you. I didn't text. Like, you know, yeah, it wasn't like a thing. Yeah, so whatever, we've been together 10, 11, 12 years ago. Yeah. Uh, you I didn't even know yeah. how to text Harley. Stop it. I mean, really, I didn't really text. I didn't. I was like texting, huh? Okay. I seen people do it, <laughs> but I never really had to. I just call on the phone. At the time, I had those Nextel phones where you. Not beep when it, like, I oh. met you, you had an iPhone. I did. Yes. I think I still had the walkie-talkie phone. Whatever. You had an iPhone when I met you. Maybe you had a work walkie-talkie. I didn't but, know how to use it. But personally, you had an iPhone. Right. <laughs> And I got an iPhone right when it came out. I did not know how to use it at Which, all. Which, when I met you, it was like the third generation. So you'd been using like an iPhone for like three years and didn't know how to use it. Fourth generation. We were like into fourth generation. I got an iPhone in like 2007. So yeah, I had it for a while. And you didn't know how to use it. You I knew didn't how to know use how it. To I just message. didn't text. I just didn't text. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Because I mean, anybody. I text, I text now? That's like the excitement of like your iPhone. You can iMessage. Right. Right. I don't know what I like. I just I like just like the idea to keep all my phone numbers in it. <laughs> because like I used a walking to, No, I used to have a watch. <laughs> like oh my a, God. a Casio watch that holds 50 phone numbers in it. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I would put the phone numbers in my watch. And now the iPhone you can hold 8,000 numbers in it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I had oh. two of everybody's number forever. And on my you have iPhone. like an iPod, which then you could put on your phone. Like were you oh I my still God, don't you know how to do that. You still have two people's numbers in your phone by the way. No, I don't. I got rid of it. Oh. When I got the new phone, it's, it asked oh. me something and said I wanted to delete it. I said, okay, and just did it. And I got nice. one one person's, one people's Perfect. phone. Perfect. Everything was double numbers yes, forever. it was. A long time. What are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, now I'm becoming like a social media expert. I mean, I don't think I'd call you that. Why? Okay. Because you literally, the other day also, you were like, how did you like that reel I made? And I was like, oh, it was good, but why did you put the words over your face? I don't know. And you're like, I didn't know you, you move can the word. move the words? I didn't know you could move the words. <laughs> And then I posted it twice. And then you posted it twice. I, I do had everything. to go in and delete one. You did? I did. Oh, that's right. You did. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm trying, man. I said, by the way, you posted it twice. You're like, can you delete one? God. I just want to stop all this. <laughs> I can't all, try things. All, I think you're okay. I think you're okay. This is live. This is a live, live. Are you, are you looking at it? I think you're okay. You were a little off centered. I can okay. see you. But you want fine. me to have Dan edit a little out or no? Nope. Just keep this on. Is life. We don't edit, folks. We this just keep life. on going. We we're only not professional. We only edit if a family member starts crying and whining about us saying something. Right. About them. Correct. Or if went, yeah. yeah, that's what. That's about the only time we edit. Or if we say or something if you let slip really it, racy, something slip that you shouldn't have, like a nip. I mean, you if wanted, a nip slips, I'd be fine with you that. You wanted to just slip a nip early, like when we're warming up. You're telling me to slip a nip. I was just yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking. What? So yesterday, I had I have a, I had a shoot today, but yes, yesterday, and I'll explain the shoot. But yesterday, I had a fitting. Yes. So I went to the fitting, mm -hmm. and it was a white polo tight shirt. Oh. Like let's just call it a Lululemon shirt. It was, had, it was tighter. And I actually could see. I see your my nipples. nips. I know. Yeah. I know. But constantly, it was no big deal. So fast forward to today, we go to the shoot. They postponed the shoot. And they told us it was because all the outfits didn't come in time. 
But we found out from our agent that me and this other girl, we found out that we were the clothes were too big on us and we were too <laughs> skinny. Have you ever in your life been told you're too skinny? No, it was the best day of my life. <laughs> I thought it was because I had, you know. Oh, because you're like, nipples you could really out. see them. Like, and the lady's oh, no. like, God, we got to get a Band-Aid for guys? Cutting glass over there. We're going to need some. Uh, right. Some pasties. Well, I thought it was great. I, yeah, go ahead. I'm too skinny, fatsos. Yeah, I'm too skinny. <laughs> this was equestrian clothes, too. Like, you know, fancy, like, Wouldn't you want pants. to look, like, thin in equestrian clothes? Because yeah. are they tight? The whole thing was, is Justine uh, emailed me and says, hey, are you still a 32 waist? I said, yes. She goes, oh, okay. They want you for this shoot. And so I go over there and, it's, and to do the fitting, and it's equestrian wear. Yeah, you said that. Like, horse wear. Yeah. Is that what, you know, like... Yeah, they wear tight things. Yeah, it's almost like baseball pants that are fancy. Kind of, yeah. And they have like a leather or something yeah. on the inside, so it doesn't yeah, like so I put these on rub on the, the horse. Lady's like, oh, you look great. And then they cancel us out. <laughs> oh, you looked good in those tight pants and yeah. shirt. I mean, if you're going to cancel maybe me out because I'm too skinny, that's great. Maybe your bulge was too distracting. Oh, probably. <laughs> I'm too skinny, but the bulge was too big. <laughs> so She's like, like, we can't have that. Yeah, we can't have that. The horse might get uncomfortable. The horse might. There wasn't even going to be a horse there. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> The ladies might get uncomfortable. But even the girl that was booked with me, she didn't because she said the clothes were oversized. So maybe this fucking company has oversized clothes for fatsos who ride horses. But a 32 is not, a waist is not. No, but the, she, when I got there, she goes, oh, these pants are 34s, but they're, they're stretchy and stuff. I said, like Lululemon? I did say that. And she goes, yeah, kind of like that. And I go, that should be fine. Did you feel like you were wearing some of my, my clothes, like it was like me making you try stuff on? Th- these were something you would never wear, trust me. Oh. They were like, they had like, you know, chaps on yeah, the inside I almost. That, and, yeah, You know, whatever, but I, I don't know. Maybe you'd wear them. But anyway, got canceled out on the shoot, so uh, fine yeah. with me. If you think I'm too skinny and you're too fucking fat, then that's fine. They need somebody fatter. You didn't, I they didn't say they're too fat. Oh, I'm just calling them fat for fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe <laughs> she'll listen, too. I gave her a podcast card. Oh, okay, so, great. Yeah, you're just a little heavy set. Oh, no. Actually, she wasn't. She was fine. Just her models are. Yeah, her brain was heavy set. Oh, keto. Not, <laughs> what yeah, does that even mean? It means that she doesn't know how to communicate. She doesn't know how to email. She doesn't know how to tell us the truth. She doesn't know right, how to. Right, that is true. The know, communication just tell us. was poor. Jeez, tell me I'm too skinny. Tell me my abs yes. are too hard. <laughs> Tell me my nipples are too pokey. Right, just tell me. Tell me I got a skinny <laughs> little pencil neck. Yeah, oh, my. Has Jeez anyone Louise. ever told you that? Tell me I'm way too skinny and muscular for the shoot. If you got really skinny, do you think your neck would get skinny or do you think it'd stay? No. I would have the shrunken in shoulders <laughs> like Skeletor <laughs> with a big fat neck. neck. Be a big old wide fat neck. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Stop dieting. Then. Now I'm going to get real <laughs> Now I'm going to get real skinny for everybody. To show them your big neck? Yeah, I'll probably never get another, sh- another shoot. Because you're going to be all weird and All those fat portion. guy rolls are going away. I'm not going to ever get one again. fat guy rolls. Because you've be gotten like, so many fat guy rolls. I'll be rolls. like, what's his name? Tim McGraw. He gets rolls all the time. I know, but that's true. Bad example. Yeah, he no, just got a thing he, on pa- for Yellowstone. Yeah, but he was whatever. all fat, and then he got all skinny and buffy. And he's like a little tiny, tiny guy. Well, he's like a little a, miniature guy. I don't know if he's miniature, per se. I don't think he is. He's pretty small. I talked to somebody that's I mean, seen him like real close. I mean, he's like 5'9", probably. Yeah, 5'9", are real thin. Now he's real thin? Or I, then I, he was real thin? He seems pretty buff now. I don't know what he is. I don't either. I haven't, I haven't stalked yeah. him in a who while. Who cares? I don't, I don't even know Tim McGraw except that one song. To, to who? Tim McGraw. Okay. Is that what I said? <laughs> no, you said McGraw. <laughs> McGraw? Yeah, like Negroni. I'm not racist. No, you didn't say. Well. <laughs> we don't have to edit that out. <laughs> I don't think so, at least. No. All this social media shit. Right. Again, with the technology. All this technology. <laughs> I don't mind the technology. I try to keep up with the with the times. You you, you when try. I do all of my acting stuff and everything, I have a real hard time. River has to help me. You have to help me. I, I get right. it. Right, but I try. I'm going there. But I find now that me and you do more social media stuff because of the podcast. That I find oh, yeah. my, I find myself scrolling through and, and oh, all of yeah. a sudden you're you sucked know, into a world of I'm sucked into the bullshit. All I'm looking at beer yep. ads every second or whatever. That's because your Instagram is full of like tits and beers. Beer ads and boobs. Right. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm looking at. So I'm like, I, I know I get mad when a beer ad comes up because you didn't get to see boobs. Right. Okay. Yeah, I got to scroll through like four. I need to go through and like some delete some I got, shit I got, then, so you stop looking at boobs all day. I can't help it. They just send it to me. <laughs> I'm not asking for it. They send it to me. They know what my brain's thinking. Right. <laughs> Jeez. They actually do. They're like, this guy seems to stop on every boob right. shot. This and guy zooms stand- in yeah. on all of these, so let's keep yeah, sending and he, them. and he scrolls through the beers. Right. Everything else doesn't give a shit. <laughs> if give I'm zooming in, I'm zooming in on the beer. I want to see what cup flavor it is. Uh-huh, I'm sure. Or what brand it is. Or the boobs behind the beer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. The, the, the boobs holding I the beer. I do like that one ad. 
one that. The girl always, she never shows her face. She just has boobs and she puts the, puts the beer between her boobs. Isn't she like a beer taster or something? I don't know. What, I you don't show know. me her once. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. It, I do it, like her. I mean, <laughs> wow. I, she doesn't even have a face, this lady. Wow. <laughs> but this is what all these kids do. Oh, yes. They get hooked on the social media. Yeah. They have self, they have self shaming. Oh, yeah. Because there's all these hot chicks on social media. And, da, 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 and you can make yourself look Oh, my good. God. The ugliest people have made themselves look amazing on social media. Right. And that's that's all fine because that's I mean, good for fine. them. It's good self-esteem for them. It's not because then Cause you meet real. somebody in real life and they're like, like oh, you're, you're that's not at all what you look like. And right. when you take all that makeup off and I wake up next to that face, yikes. Right. But I was watching this. Uh, so, like, um, own your looks, whatever that may be. Um, I, or you just don't eat as much. Don't eat so much. Whatever the whatever it is. Go on a real diet. Take a real <laughs> picture. Take a picture with a Polaroid and send that right. in. That's see the what real you. Think. Yeah. Half the people wouldn't be doing that. But anyway, these kids get is sucked in, and these alg- algorithms, algorithms, algorithms make you know push them. Yes. W- lean them one way or lean them the other way. And TikTok, we're gonna get fucking taken over by China. Guess why the algorithms push boobs your way? Oh right. Right. Boobs and beers. Right. That's so funny. Algorithm at its best. And they push Weimaraner or dogs your On way. On my way. Yep. Yeah. Correct. That's so crazy how it kind of. And then it, when you mention something, like I say, oh, I think we need to, I want to look at some new floors. Of oh, new yeah. Flooring. Now we're getting like Now flooring. I get flooring pictures. Mm-hmm. And then we get all Or if these, I Google anything on my phone, then I start getting like things for it. Right. We talk about the podcast a lot where it's like, oh, we grow our podcast, grow this. All I get is grow podcast shit, even though we have a oh, podcast. Web, but still, I get that. Yeah. You know, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I watched this documentary, this guy, Hunter Moore. Yes. And what he did was had this website that he would have people like, like if you had a boyfriend and, and, and he, and you broke up with him and he was pissed and he had nude pictures of you yes. or sex tapes, he would just send them into this guy and the guy would put them up on a site. It's like revenge. Revenge porn. Yeah. That's what they called oh. it. And this guy would say, oh, this slut and this whore and everybody just would do. bashing on these ba- women. And they'd bash on these women. For no women. reason. And, but they would do men too. Oh, okay. Girls would well, send dick pics it, of the guys. At least it's mutual bashing. I mean, it was, yeah, mutual bashing. But this guy was real arrogant and he started, they didn't. Ultimately, they got him for hacking, but he started hacking accounts, like fo- people's phones, like people, like people's phones, phones or computers, emails, things like that, and then taking the pictures without their consent. Or awesome. if a boyfriend gave those pictures, then it wouldn't be this guy's fault. But when you start hacking and taking them, it's that's different. yeah, yeah. And so he was doing that, and he was uh, he would post their Facebook pages up, their phone numbers, their oh my addresses. God, that's horrible. So then people would like cyber yeah. them and bully them. Yeah, and it's a good, it's a documentary called the the most hated guy on the internet. Well, he sounds like the most hated guy. Uh, he was horrible. Yeah, he was the most hated guy on the internet. But uh, And how do you also know that these people are of legal age? Aren't you like borderline no, child that, porn? That was a problem. He was getting how did he couldn't verify the ages of a fifteen year old girl from a nineteen year old right. girl. Did he get caught and go to jail? Please tell me. Uh yeah, he did. Two okay, and a half great. Two, doing two and a half years for yeah. hack only for hacking. Okay. Not for ruining people's lives. Right. Cause like what yeah. if your boss Googled your or future boss Googled your name and they're like, Oh, there she is naked. Um that's what happened to the one girl. She oh, was an actress. I didn't even watch this. And she <laughs> got she got up for a role. That's how it started. The one girl, mom. She was an actress and working as a waitress. Oh. And they called her up and says, We gave you the role, but now we're taking it away because you're on this webpage. Oh my god. And she got the she fired from the job and she was mortified. She goes, What? I don't have that. And she took the picture herself. Emailed it to herself, which I mean, something fishy about that already. But I mean, yeah, who she emails want, a naked picture of yourself? She just to didn't yourself. want it on her phone, but she probably didn't want to admit she sent that to her boyfriend. She or probably something. did. I would think so. She right. was a young girl at the time, so they left that little bit out, and I thought that was a little fishy in the that documentary. That sounds fishy. Yeah, so smelt fishy too. Okay, gross. Oh. I wonder if they ever did a thing where you could smell over the phone. No, I think they ever come up with that. I don't know. Like Why you could, you, I know, but you could say uh, you could like smell like their breath as they're talking. No, no, just like they're there. You can, you know, how you you have profiles and this, this. You could have a smell of your like cologne or perfume that kind of comes out as they're chatting with you on Tinder or something like that. Mm, that sounds like a whole different kind of technology. Well, I mean, they're doing all this other shit. I know, but how AI do you get that? And, how do you get that smell? Yeah, though? AI like, you and have all to this. have a library of smells like per phone. Right, and don't say mine would smell like a fart because I can see it in your in your <laughs> head going through your head right now. Mine would smell Yours, like my nice cologne, not my, a fart. Well, then not a crop dust here. Then nobody should ride in your car or go in your office. Uh, no, no one should ever. Actually, lately, I don't know what's wrong with me. No one should ever go in my car. No, ever. And you get yeah. it's like a it's disgusting. Ew, I haven't I, been in your car in a while. And I now advise I'm you. Too. I advise you not to go in my car. Why don't you air that thing? My out? office, you can go in. It's fine. 
Do you want me to get you some like car fresheners? Yeah, I do need a couple of those. I think you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. But what happens? What were we talking about, Keeks? With you know Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Everybody knows who he is. Oh uh, yeah, I would hope so. And there's and and Bill Gates even said this before he died. Oh. He says you know because of all this technology. You know, the world is ch- going to change. And it has. And it's not going to change in the best way. It depends no. how many p- how people use this technology. Because even Zuckerberg, if you watch that movie, Social Network. Yeah. He, he started because he was a fucker. And he was going out with a girl and the girl dumped him. No, I did. Because he, he was an asshole. Is that why she dumped him? She dumped him because he He was kind of a nerd, let's no, be honest. she dumped him. Be- it's the whole scene I see in acting all the but time. But that's all made for movies. He probably was a big nerd that he wanted this hot girl, and she said, no, you're a fucking nerd. She said, you're an asshole, actually. Okay, she goes, that's she the goes, movie, though. That's not real life. Well, in the movie, the, real, the scene in the movie was she said, I'm not dumping you because you're smart. I'm not dumping you because um, you're, you're not the best to try this. I'm dumping you because you're just an asshole. I mean, that's, he is that's, an asshole. Yeah, that's that's what she had said to I him. I mean, that makes so movie he, magic. So he but was mad. That might not be why. So he might have been the first guy on this revenge thing because he totally was. Yeah, hot or not. Now, yeah, when he you were in college, hot or not. do you remember that? Are yes. you hot or are you not? Yes, I do. Did you ever vote? Yes, I think I had. And there was like a, a guy's picture or girl's pictures on there. Both. And and they mainly w- went more girls than boys though. Yeah, and then they would submit them hot or not, and all you had to do was click hot or not. Yes. And then from there, he developed this site because it was so yeah. popular, Facebook. Mm-hmm. It was called The Facebook. I don't, I don't remember. It was called The Facebook, then they changed it to Facebook. I know. Um, you never saw that movie? Yes, I did. Social I Network. also lived the real thing, though. I know. Facebook came out when I was in college. So anyway, this guy, this Hunter Moore, who had this website, too, basically is the same exact thing. Yeah. But he's just doing it with porno- pornographic pictures or you know, not like a simp, but he's, he's shaming people. And he's doing all this other stuff. Right. Which know? now every social media outlet has become that. Let's how can yeah. we put people down? Right. Like ninety percent of any comments or anything is shaming, not lifting up in any way. Like people right. are so used to just hiding behind their keyboard or their phone or whatever and just talking whatever shit they want. Yeah, to make gonna, them self yeah. feel better to whatever their thing is, is we're creating this society of just bullshit. Yeah, and people say, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna uh, on this lady Go kill yourself. on this lady who went after Hunter Moore. Yeah, we're gonna come over and chop your head off. We're gonna kill you. We're right. gonna do this, we're gonna do that and the lady and nothing ever happened. I mean, because they're not keyboard yes, warriors. Yes, there's a few that are you know, some fucking thirty year old living in his mom's that are, basement, yeah, not down mentally there. stable, and will maybe do something. But yeah. a lot of it is just they're hiding behind a keyboard, and it's because nobody makes them accountable. Because yeah, and bottom line, knows they are. And bottom line is, it causes a lot of depression. Oh fuck yeah, and suicide and all this other anxiety, stuff. Anxiety, you name anxiety. it. Anxiety. I got anxiety when I when something weird's on the internet about me. What's weird on the internet I don't know, about I just, you? I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> do you have nudes out there, honey? I know. What if you got mad at me and you sent a nude? Right. You could probably pull up a nude. (laughs) Why do you say nude? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Don't piss me off. Otherwise, I'm sending. Well, we talked about that earlier with that reel that went the nudes in Virginia. You can actually get in trouble for sending nudes. Right. So just don't do it in Virginia. No. But um, anyway, so what what I'm leading up to with this whole thing is that it causes a lot of depression and everything else, and and society has gone into not face to face contact. Uh. Uh. And COVID is fucking oh demolished my God, it made it worse. that. And you don't get true feelings. You don't make eye contact with people Mm-mm. like I'm doing right now. Um, you don't, you don't, um, you know, feel the emotions because you're sitting behind your keyboard and you're zooming. And you don't have to have that. emotions. Right. And then now, even on top of that, with inflation and everything else, it's making you feel like, oh, I, you know, these young kids, it's hard for them to get apartments, hard for them oh to buy God, houses. Oh, my God, yeah. And so they're living with their parents forever, you know, because they're being helicoptered. And right. Parents well, don't yeah, think, there's parents, another yeah, part of that. Parents don't think they can do anything. Parents At can. some point, we were watching the uh, some show or the news, I can't remember, Keeks, but um, everything's going to revert back. The oh, happiest yeah. time in life was, was the, the 1950s. News. The nudes? No news. Oh, I'm still on <laughs> nudes. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Yeah. The happiest time in life, yeah, I believe, was that. really the 1950s because you had one car. The mom stayed home. You had two two kids, and the dad went to work. Mom took care of everything. And everybody could afford a house as long as the dad was working. Yeah, and there was one income could afford the whole house. 
There wasn't excessive crazy spending. Yeah. There wasn't keeping up with the Joneses. The women, there the women didn't make money like the men. But yeah. I don't think I don't think they were unhappy about that. There's was no, the way everyone seemed everyone seemed happy. Like right, and your job was to stay home and take care of the kids. Yeah, I think. And I'm going by just by talking to Skylar and some of her friends and whatnot. I think the youth is actually longing for that because I think they are too. The women are getting too much pressure and working too much. Because yeah, we are. The men are feeling inadequate. Oh yeah, they're not being men. They're not providing. They're they're not not providing care of. They're not. Yeah. yeah. Some men will just stay home and do what the women would do, and the women is. Killing the because I have to I home. have to prove to I don't know society that I am a strong woman. Well, why being do a they strong have to prove it? Woman isn't defined by your job. Being a strong human, male or female, isn't defined by your job. Like right. there are plenty of stay at home moms that are strong and have raised great kids, and that's their role. Right. Whatever your role, you don't have to prove it to anybody. But there's these women out here that have to prove it. I don't know what they're proving. So my theory is, in the next. 15, 20 years. Oh, I've been saying this theory for sooner. years. Are things just going to hit rock bottom? Yes, absolutely. And it's going to get so bad and yes. we go back to the yes. other way. Back to the fifth. June Cleaver at its best. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it, but it has to take something like the Great Depression, well, though. Well, yeah, to realize. Ha- just, well, one, yeah. it takes all of us to realize, oh, my God, look at what we had. And we were so ungrateful for what we had. Right. So let's just be grateful for what I have right now. Right. And I think we have to get back to that. Yeah. To me, seeing the pressures on the young kids of today and stuff, it's and, and Atna was even touching on this. She says, you know, we we work just as hard, but it's not seen. Mm-mm. It's not appreciated. It feels like you're worthless. Right. Well, one, like every boss, and you maybe you can say this as a boss. I don't know. I'm, I'm on the employer side, so I see it different. Every boss, like you are never working hard enough now. Even if you are working hard. Yeah, when that's true. Like, there's, it's never enough. Yeah. They want more and more and more. But they also don't want to, because of Bigger and faster. society, they don't want to compensate you for it. And they don't want to cut into profits. Right. They want the, They need to keep the profits. They don't want to yeah. pay you more, but they want more out of you. Uh, uh, for sure. So it's like, there's yeah. there's a real big imbalance. And I think that's things. why you got these 20-something-year-old kids that say, well, why do I want to work so much? Right. Why well, should I do that? And why then, should well, I? Well, bosses yeah. are like, we need, we need the bodies, so we're going to... We're going to do it. We're going to pay you this much. You're going to work half as much. People like me that are the older generation work my ass off. And, yeah, you know, in some cases, I'm getting paid. The, I'm not. But I'm getting paid the same as somebody that's working, doing half the job. Right. Well, that's just the way it is. But uh, anyway, I think it's going to go full circle. I think, I think it is, when too. When it does come that time, it's probably going to be a good thing. I think it is, too. I think we need a little reset. Mm-hmm. And social media and stuff's not going away, but it, it can no. be more controlled. And yes. I think, you know, I mean, yeah. whether, whether they're taking away TikTok and all this other shit, maybe it'll, maybe well, it'll happen. You were watching something that was saying that TikTok in the U.S. is what is this platform that, you know, you can say whatever you want, do whatever you want, and people just, you can watch whatever, and people can say whatever they want about it. And there's, there's really no rules, regulations, whatever. It's like a shit show. It's a tornado shit show, social media. In China, who created it, all they see are like math problems and engineering questions, and it's like they're literally getting smarter off this app while we are getting dumber. Yeah, they're off only pushing algorithms that go to smart stuff. Yeah, they want us to look at the stupid Our people and their farts yeah, on fire. Is getting stupider by the second, while theirs is getting smarter. And I like, know. how are we not seeing this as a problem? Do you know how we're not seeing this? Because we're watching TikTok. No, because our congressmen are old fucking geezers. <laughs> oh my god, I know. Mitch McConnell. I can't handle that. That guy's got a turkey wall. He's. <laughs> I mean, for poor, poor guy fell. Right. But so did you. You fell. I don't know what. Yeah, they're sitting there. I heard this on the news. They're like, Mitch McConnell fell in a hotel and he's in the ER. And I'm like, I fell in a hotel three weeks ago and I didn't go to the ER. Yeah, you I got was nothing. Fine. You got nothing. Ky- Kylie, we're walking <laughs> to a Mexican restaurant in the Grand Sierra Resort. <laughs> yeah. Kylie's in front of me and she has a water bottle. Hadn't even been drinking at no, all. No, no, no. I had like half of it left. Half a I water half bottle. Of it. And the lid was off. And we're going to meet our friends, and I'm a, I'm a, a half a step in front of her, and Kylie just goes down like, <laughs> I mean. I mean, it wasn't just like, like that. Like a Pete Rose going into the second base straight well, out, no, and was, the water bottle splashed right in her face. It was a stumble. I realized, actually, the other day where this comes from, how I walk. I walk kind of um, with my feet out, kind of like a duck. And so when I have heels on, whether they be a chunky heel or whatever, which I have like a peeled booty on, 
my heel will like slip in off like you know yeah and so my heel had slipped and i actually rolled my ankle which basically happens once a week either well, way i thought you tripped over a bar no. store somebody actually literally <laughs> kicked your back foot so out. i slipped I ankle rolled roll. my ankle but squeezed the water bottle and the water sprayed everywhere all over the floor all over myself it sounded like a ton I of bricks proceeded to not catch my my footing after i rolled my ankle was slipping all over the water and just Ate shit, dough forward, superman it across this restaurant. And safe. <laughs> and then after that, I'm like, are you okay? Jesus <laughs> Christ. And I'm like, come on. What, what happened? What I, my happened? whole what face happened? was like soaked with water. Yeah, and then the guy comes over, uh, the security guy or whoever it was, comes over and says, um, do you need medical? Right. I <laughs> and didn't... I said, no, but I need to see the security footage. And the guy got all weirded he out. Slammed up. I just wanted to see it so we could laugh. I literally we just want a copy of it so I could show everybody. I know. And Podcast Dan's wife works there, so we I were going to call. Have we, asked. Yeah, we could have maybe got Probably. this. Well, they think he, Dan's footage. convinced they still have it. Oh yeah, he's yeah, he's convinced that they watched every once in a while. And laugh. In like five years, I'm going to see it on TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I ate shit the other day too. I know. Well, I got to say one thing. What? Thank God. And you asked me this a couple weeks ago if I, I care. Shit on ice though. I care what people think about me, and my answer was no. And thank God I don't, because when I ate shit in that restaurant, and it wasn't very busy, thankfully yet. You literally asked about five people if they had seen me fall and then talked about it. If right. I did that to you, you probably would have strangled me when we got home. I know, but I know you like that. I don't like Who wants to talk about <laughs> f- eating shit? It wasn't like I rolled my ankle and daintily <laughs> fell. I literally ate shit. I'm just glad you I, didn't No hurt. joke, sprained my ankle, and it was all bruised, and the toes on my other foot were all, like, bruised, and I couldn't, like, move them. I'm just glad you, I mean, you kind of got hurt, but not too Not bad, bad yeah. Well, I went skiing with Marcus, and I, I got home a little early, and I go, I'm going to go down <laughs> to the hot tub, and it was all ice. So I put on, I have these red Ugg slippers. So I got naked. I go naked hot tubbing. I got naked. I had a <laughs> towel around my waist, and I picked up the chemicals to take them down the hot tub so I didn't have hands at all to hold on to the railing. <laughs> And I just slid all the way down and bruised, and my Where? elbow, my elbow and arm still. Oh my god, hurt. they're scraped I was just up. rolling around nude in the snow. Stop it! I was at the bottom of the stairs. You were rolling around. Well, because I couldn't get up, I was slipping all. Over. It was pure. It was pure ice. What happened to the chemical bottle? It was just it was just laying there on the oh, side. Oh, did they like fly out of your hands? Well, they did, but I had the lids were on. They but they flew out of your hands. Yeah, they didn't really fly. If I got slid on them, you know. But I went down like five stairs. <laughs> hard and it's like oh. at what point did your towel fall off right away <laughs> I, the towel was down i was rolling it's so cold in the snow too and then i'm like looking at the cameras and getting oh. all weirded out but i wonder if i could pull it i'm gonna look back and it was see exactly if I can. three o'clock i'm gonna look that. back and see if i can just get a glimpse of it it was last tuesday that'd be a long time I did, to go was back it wednesday look. or was it tuesday it was tuesday, oh, it was it tuesday. Was tuesday yeah okay i'm gonna br- sure. i'm gonna bring it up and see if i can find and my it. legs are all weak from swimming so i'm sure that's why between I fell. Sw- swimming that's why yeah it's not the ice right <laughs> do you know who slipped on ice a few times in oh, his day i know he has hey everybody this is Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. You want a custom home from a Southern California premier home builder? Call me, Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. 310-465-3347. If you live in Tahoe at all, you have slipped. Oh, I've slipped plenty of times in Tahoe. Yeah. I'll never forget. I was, in high, I was 16. <laughs> you fell? In high school, and I, I, wore, I had these white pants. Who wears white pants in winter? Like, that's why you don't wear them right, after Labor Day. Right. That, that's why they say and, that. Like, checkered vans. I was going for, to for dirt a high school basketball game. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Were they tight? Well, you kind of, yeah. Did you see your bulge in them? There was no bulge. Oh, okay. And then I had these. <laughs> they were kind of the, these pants that kind of called rags. They had strings in front. Mm. And I get to the ATM. So I'm going to the there ATM. Was ATMs back yeah, then? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm an ATM. So I, I and get you knew it. how to use it? Yeah, oh, I guess okay. so. Yeah. I guess so. My mom, my mom worked. My mom worked at the bank. Okay, so, so I, she taught you. Yeah. Okay. My mom. <laughs> hey, you can say anything and say anybody about my mom, but my mom worked in the bank, and she was one of the best employees they had. I believe every customer, I'm sure, loved her. She was like, it was great on Fridays. We used to lock the doors and smoke cigarettes. What? <laughs> they used they used to bring inside dr- the bank. Yeah, they used oh, okay. to smoke and bring drinks on Friday, and she said, yeah, they didn't do that till I got there, but they loved me there. <laughs> Because she corrupted that them? Was, yeah, that was the first smoking bar. Oh, they bar. didn't do it till I got there. That the first a, mer- that's where it that's stems from. That's where smoking bar started. They used to smoke in the vault of the bank. Oh, well. Yeah, see, they used to go in Thank God vault. there wasn't social media back then. Yeah, no social media. <laughs> yeah, you see, what did they do without social media? You know, like, you did a lot of fun shit and didn't get caught. Yeah, you did shit on p- airplanes. You know, some guy picking his nose on an airplane. Boom, social media. 
I was at the gym yesterday, Mm -hmm. and I wish I had my phone handily ready because there was this woman in front. Well, there was actually two women in front of me in the span of my cardio. Uh First one, both of them in their 60s. First woman uh, was, like, dancing to her music and, like, throwing arms up and, like. At the gym on the treadmill? Yeah, on the treadmill. She was walking. Oh, was her name Janine? It was not Janine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only if I wish. But she Only was I like, wish it was. She was like throwing arms up and like dancing. I was like, wow, look at her go. Next woman hops on. She's like walking and then going to like speed it up a little or something. Trips and almost ate shit. Oh, I was like. You were just waiting. And I started laughing a little to myself. She didn't fall, so it was okay. But I was like, oh, my God, that was amazing. <laughs> you and Jackie Schimmel. She, I, on, oh. her, on her show, I was listening to her. She just goes in her car and just starts laughing when people fall. I can't handle it. Yeah. It makes my day. I think a lot of people laugh when people fall. I that's think what people do, do, too. Yeah. I mean. Now that's cheap entertainment. You, oh if you see God. it live, it's much better on than on social media. I will enjoy it on social media as well, though. Yeah. Love when I see people fall. I'm going to go back to one more thing. Sorry, I interrupted your ATM story. What was I talking about? You went to the ATM in your white pants. Oh, white white pants. Long story short, I take one step out, and I slip, and I slide right under my truck, (laughs) and my white pants have this brown streak coming all the way down the leg. So what do I do? I get up and kick the door (laughs) of my truck and slip again and go right back under it. (laughs) I remember I had to go home. Did you, and did you have to go home and no, change? No, I, I couldn't wear those. I was pure black all oh, the way down. Them. And then yeah. they were never worn again. I was all tan because we went to Hawaii and oh, stuff. And mm. so I was kind of known for being all tan in high oh, school. Oh, you were. Yeah. Okay. I kind of was. Is the tan gay guy? No. <laughs> with the tank there top on. There was no on? gay guys back then. <laughs> with the tank top on. There was no. The gay tan guy. kid with the tank top on. There was that no... You could see his nipples through his shirt. Yeah, there was no gay guys <laughs> back then. <laughs> what people used to say. What? And you know everybody's open and out of the closet and all this stuff nowadays, right? And and I, I'm fine with that. I think that's good. People should live their best Great, them, I agree. themselves. But when I was in high school, if someone found out you were gay and and um, I, I can't remember if it was in acting or what because there's a lot of a lot of gay kids and stuff. Um, they asked me, well, what would happen? You know, in my high school, we do that. I go, you get the shit beat out of you. I mean, I mean, back fl- then, I mean, that was the '80s. Yeah. No, you best not say you're gay. You best not. <laughs> if you did, it's going to be a big problem probably, and you're going to get really right. picked it wasn't on. And, something and wasn't. you know what? You're not going to get in trouble for picking on them either. Because yeah, because the teachers would too. Oh, that's sad. No, um, it's true. Because it was that abnormal to come out. Because I have, I have right. a really good friend who's gay, and he didn't come out till way after high school. He didn't and he didn't come out till he moved to San stick. Francisco. Yeah. It because it was just a weird thing. And all my friends used to say, oh, I think he's gay. I think he's gay. And I'd stick up. No, he's not. No, he's not. But he well, was. He was. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, that, that's what happened. That's that's the difference in society now. That's I know. For sure. You know what else is different? A lot, but yeah. <laughs> they don't have – all the movies are either violent or, or – um, um, there's no lighthearted like rom coms. I know what happened to rom coms. We were watching one today. That's why I was. That's oh why my I was, god! I know my favorite. Yeah, how to lose a wife in ten days or something. What's that's it called? That's your life, but how to lose a guy in ten <laughs> days. <laughs> that's the, that's my rom. That's who I should start. How to lose a wife in ten days. I didn't even realize I said that. Jeez Louise! <laughs> how to lose a wife in ten days. <laughs> that's my new book, oh, folks. No. <laughs> it probably would be a bestseller. <laughs> <Yeah>. Jesus. <laughs> really, it's not that hard, folks. I'll tell you how to do it step by step. <laughs> read my, oh, no. read my, read mem- my memoir. Yeah, my memoir. <laughs> Yikes. How to lose a guy in 10 years. Yes. That's what the movie's <laughs> called. <laughs> I know. They don't make rom-coms anymore. It makes me so sad. I know. I love a rom-com. You love a rom-com. I do. I wonder if this guy loves a rom-com. I'd say yes. This segment of Life with Eric is brought to you by G&E Painting and Drywall, servicing Reno, Tahoe, and Truckee areas for over 25 years. Call G&E today for all of your painting and drywall needs at 775-833-0551. Kylie and I are up to a few things. What are we up to? Well, one, we're booking your... For- Should I say how old you're going to be? Oh, it's fine. It's She's, a fact. Her 40th birthday party is going to be in San Diego. San Diego. San Diego, and we invited a bunch of family and friends, and it turned out to be like 18 people. Right. 18 people I didn't realize that was go. as popular. We thought it was going to be like six, right. eight, whatever. Right. Like 18 people are it's going. It's becoming... I, I don't know if it's necessarily me and my birthday, or it's like everyone's ready to get out of town. I don't know, but we're going to San Diego Paradise Point for, for <laughs> two days, and um, it happens to be Cinco de Mayo on Cinco Friday. Cinco de Mayo. So, 
you know, when we go out with the Wink crew, Chris and Lauren and Mark and Mel and us, and we do these trips, there's six of us, and Chris and Mel make all the reservations. Yes, are, and it's kind of a hard pain in the ass. It's just enough to make reservations for six right. people. Which I right? would never would. I think COVID might have changed that a little yeah. bit. Because, like, it used to be, like, you had to be un- four was your max. Yeah. And now it's kind of like, they'll let you do more, but it's hard to get more than six. It, it totally is. And, and to get a rental car and Ubers well, and everything like six else, too. Fit so. in there. Yeah, so we do that. But the, um, so we, we, we're doing this thing for San Diego, and I'm trying to make reservations for 18 of us. It's fucking impossible. Right. And plus Cinco de Mayo. So actually, right. Chris is helping me a little bit and Thank trying. God for we, Chris. Yeah, we're trying to get this thing done, but it's kind of crazy because a lot of our family and a lot of friends hit us up because we, Kelly and I, talk on the podcast. Oh, we went to Montana. We went to. You know, we make our trips here. too fun we make sounding. Them, we make Not them, that they are. Well, but. They, no, they are. They are fun, Keeks. I know. I'm kidding. But. We keep getting hit up by all our friends and family, and we love everybody the same, but it's like we have this little travel we group. Go? And, well, what it is is, like, I never had any friends, really, you know, I even know though you it doesn't really count. Marcus is my brother, I guess, but I know. Mel's not your sister. No. But we have this little group that we travel with, and we all we all get along really good, but it's just enough to get a house for six and this for right. six and like We've kind of found that, too. Maybe There's... someday we'll, we'll do something different or whatever, but... We have that little travel group, but we invited everybody to Kylie's birthday. We did. And yeah, it's a large party. <laughs> it's really hard to do. So, it my is God, hard. our little small trips are easy. But, right. But, um, you know. Reservations, yeah. nightmare. No hard feelings to anybody. We don't invite you on the little trips, but uh, we love you the same. Yeah. That's for sure. But I can't wait till San Diego to spend. We got a lot of family and friends that we're mixing together. Right. So we got, yeah, and all different styles and personalities yep. and everything it'll, else. So it'll I probably mean, be a shit. It'll be fun. It'll probably be a shit show. I but. mean, I think it's going to be like an alcohol-induced shit show. Well, but. Cinco de Mayo, man. Do you remember my last birthday on Cinco de Mayo? That was great. De Mayo? De Mayo? It was yeah. 29. Wow. That was when I turned 29. Wow, yeah. That was, yeah, Kylie, her birthday is May 3rd, so every once in a while Cinco de Mayo like is it, her birthday. Yeah, because you go out on the weekend for your birthday and celebrate it on a Wednesday like right. this year. Yep. And so Cinco de Mayo happens to usually be that weekend. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> We're trying to go to Mexican food that night. I'm still working on that, but we have an Italian spot for Saturday night. So yes. all our family and friends who are listening to us, we're going to go to Italian Going in with Little culture. Italy. Yeah, with Little Italy. Yeah, you're two cultures. Aren't you half Mexican <laughs> and not. half Italian? I am not. Am I half Mexican? You might be. <laughs> yeah, my asshole is. <laughs> Okie dokes. It's pretty pink, so I don't know oh, yeah. about that. <laughs> don't go there. Nobody wants. <laughs> you brought it nobody, there. Nobody, you nobody. You brought it there, sir. Nobody wants to hear that. Quit talking about it, then. You want people to hear it. Life of Their Podcast <laughs> is brought to you by Petrilla Concrete Construction and doTERRA Essential Oils. You can get those from Aislinn Mueller at her Insta handle, at This Essential Life. Do you think that all the years of that, like, concrete and your crack and stuff have really helped with that area? Yeah, it kind of preserved it area. Yeah. Well, concrete's got lime in it. So, so like, lime would away eat, all, no, like, the lime, gross stuff? lime would eat all the gross stuff away. So you're just left yeah. with this, like, fresh baby skin. Right. That's, well, look at it. Now, well. the key is you got to take a shower every day. After okay. you do concrete After, and stuff. Right. Yeah, if you leave I that mean, sucker burning in there for three weeks, it's bad. That's a problem, yeah. yeah. Sadly, I, I'm answering that, like, truthful almost. Uh, almost, or you are? I kind of, act. I'm, I am, I'm, yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's why it's so pretty. Oh, uh, see? Oh, we're not going there, though. We're not going there. <laughs> Makes me sound like a pussy. What? Your asshole? Oh, speaking of that. What? I'm getting a little soft. In my old age. What does that mean? We had this electric blanket. Oh, my God. And I wanted to talk about this last week, but I forgot. We had this electric. I think we needed the story behind the electric blanket. Go ahead. So we got an electric blanket literally last Christmas, Christmas of 2021, um, from my aunt and uncle. And it has been sitting in the same, It's well, you know, well, the same vicinity for literally a year. We've never used it, never opened it. I don't know why, whatever. And so, at like, Christmas time, we were going to, like, a white elephant, and you're like, well, let's just bring the electric blanket. And I'm like, no, that's maybe a weird gift. And what if we want to use it? We should, like, try it out first and see. Huh. Right. So it still stayed. So a couple weeks ago, you were, when you go to bed, you're always cold. So your feet are cold. Something's cold. I don't know. I have a thyroid issue. Right. So you're always cold. I'm always hot. So... And you're like, oh, I need, like, socks or an extra blanket. I don't know if you're saying something. I'm like, we're giant idiots. Let's open the electric blanket. Why have we not used the electric blanket that is literally sitting outside our door? When I picture the electric blanket, I picture something that you would see in, like, the old folks' home. Like, something gross. 
I mean, this thing is it. like soft and it's and like Brookstone and yeah, a soft Brookstone. blankie. It's like we polar it fleece. Over a year later, it was great. And now I it's like Eric's thing. favorite thing in life. I'm like Kylie. Kylie actually turns sets it up while and you're turns brushing it on. your teeth. I set it up and turn it on. Warm up the bed for you. I mean, it's seriously like I'm like 80. The other years old. night, you were like, "Can you put a blanket over my feet, please?" Can you pull it down a little <laughs> bit over my feet. My feet are cold. <laughs> So, I married to an 80-year-old. <laughs> when you lay that electric blanket, who was all freezing the other day? And I said, oh, the electric blanket. It was blanket. Chris, I think. Well, who was is it? Was it Chris? I don't know. I can't think of who was freezing. I said, you got to put an electric blanket on I think you. it might have been Chris. Yeah. <laughs> put that on the list. I'm going to buy it from one for his birthday or okay. something. Okay. Happy that. 40th. Here's an electric blanket. Yeah, here's, I'm getting, that's, <laughs> that's what we're going to get him for his birthday, an electric blanket. Don't That'd ruin be great. it, Lauren. Yeah, don't, don't buy it ahead of us. We're getting it. Yeah. Oh. In fact, what? Where do you get these things? Everywhere. I want to order twenty of these things. What do you do with twenty? Because I'm going to give them to everybody for okay. Christmas. Okay. We we'll start getting them now. Well, my parents and my sister don't need them. I'm going to get into who who I think is cold all the time. Who's cold? Okay. My sister would love one. Oh, all right. For sure. Okay. Um, my dad, I know, would love it. He's got to be cold. He goes back and forth, but yeah. Oh, he get yeah he does. He gets cold yeah, and he gets hot, hot, but yeah, when yeah, in those cold moments, he might appreciate it. Seems like Mel would like it. That's true. I don't know. I'll get I'll get all the cousins. Everybody gets an Johnny, electric blanket. Johnny, Kim, Brandon, Amanda. You're getting an electric blanket. Oh, yeah, everybody's getting their. I, I oh, used to, we, we don't even get presents, but I'm getting everybody. Right. Presents. I'll get Uncle Dave, Aunt Terry, everybody. Oh, I'll right. get everybody. Oh, going everybody. to town. Well, just one per couple. Well, yeah. You have to share them. Do you share yours? Matter of fact, I did last night. Somehow you wanted it on you last night. I don't know if I wanted it per se. And so I did. I think it ended up on me. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't want it. I sweat too much. Why don't we get hot. life with Eric electric blankets since That'd we got cool. all this other shit? We got hats. We still got hats, folks, if you want them. Well, we kind of waiting more towards summer, though. That's Because there's summer hats. Yes, but if you, if you ask me season. for one, there's a good chance I'm just going to give you one. There's a good chance or yeah. there is a chance? There's a good chance. <laughs> and these these uh, last week we talked about this couple. Um, it's called Give It To Me Straight, their podcast. Yeah. And I sent them a message, asked oh, them. They did? didn't send me jack shit Fuckers. back. Fuckers. Fuckers. But maybe they will. I'll send them again. <laughs> Don't listen to this if you did. We'll, t- no. we'll try it again, yeah. With Alec, John and Alex. Oh, that's their name. Yeah, from Venice Beach. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know what you're talking yeah, about you now. Know. Their podcast is pretty good. I'm, I'm not knocking it, but I'm saying, come on, respond. Right. But, uh, like, you know, come to the you're party. You're that busy? Yeah, you're really that busy. I'm not. Yeah. I your spot. They podcast every week just like we do. Why can't we just be on the show? And we have jobs. Well, I Maybe have a on job. Their shows. Yeah. <laughs> you got a job. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by Eric's Concrete Pavers, Rock House Masonry, and Tahoe Pervious Pavements. When it rains, it drains. It's draining right now. I know. It's raining like crazy. I think I literally, it's while we've bullshit. been sitting here, heard the rain, like, come in. I went to the track meet today. Yes. And it's yes, raining the whole time. I couldn't even stay and finish watching River do pole vault, but they You should have brought an umbrella. Did you hear them? They only did one thing, and no, they cut, I did it, not they cut it, it short. I did not hear that. They cut it short and called it. Oh, that's, yeah, right I out. mean. So, actually, I left in time. I guess fine. so, yeah. And Missed he, the traffic. Yeah, he actually ran really good, but before I was leaving, I'm waiting for River to pole vault, and they're doing the 200, the 200 dash, did whatever you call it. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. I do. Slid they're doing, on that they're doing like the 200 little, like, dash. Oh, so, like hydroplane to the so track. The starter, <laughs> and I'm standing right behind them because they start like halfway around the track, you know, roughly. They, yeah. Oh, it's halfway, actually. Totally halfway. Oh, okay. It's 200. And so I'm standing there, and the starter says, okay, boys, and when it, once the f- one heat leaves, he says, okay, set your blocks up. You can do a, f- a practice start and take your sweats off and be ready to go. He says it every time. Yeah. Because oh they're, wearing, they're yeah. wearing rain sweats. They take them off. Cold. Yeah, it's yeah. cold. So I look over and I see this one kid. He's real tall, skinny, wearing like white tights under oh, his no. thing. Not, that's not a big deal. Oh, okay. But he has ski goggles on. Oh. Like full, big ski goggles on. He's got some it eye issues? No, <laughs> I, don't, I think because it was raining, but it, it wasn't raining that hard. I was dying. It looks so hilarious. But maybe he has like glasses on under there. Oh, I didn't think about that. So he needed to, to be able like, to see. Yeah. <laughs> Just picture this, though. <laughs> it looks so funny. I don't know why. He had, like, white sleeves and white legs, huh. you know, and then in the Reno High uniform. Or his parents are very, very helicoptery. Yeah, and put they're these like, goggles on. Wear your UV protection. Put your goggles on. Yeah. But he's, like, Double jumping. knot your shoes. Yeah, he's, like, jumping, warming up, doing everything. Did he have and a I'm mouth like, guard, too? <laughs> he probably did. <laughs> Face mask. <laughs> <laughs> but this, it was just so huh. funny. I was that dying. Is, that's a new one. I, I got to ask River, who's the kid with the ski goggles? Yeah. Hmm. 
It's like he's doing a downhill race, man. Right. Or he's like he's on a snowmobile or something. But he's running around right. the track. Was he fast? No. Oh, okay. No, he was in the lower heats. You oh, know, okay, he, he, like, he was, What are you justifying? He was taller. He was like six five. Let's Maybe say six four. Maybe he feel like he's, his atmosphere is a little more up there, <laughs> so he needs to be protected <laughs> more. <laughs> I, I forgot no I wanted idea. to tell you that. I was dying. Hmm. I, I got to ask River about should this. should have taken kid. a picture. Of that. I I'm, guess we couldn't post that. But we could have took a picture of him. We could post that. The child, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Child and goggles. Right. I don't know if you can post child, children that are not your own. Chi- I'm, I'm sure you can. I don't think you can. I saw this kid at a track meet. I don't think you can post it. Hopefully like, the child's parents doesn't see Ed it from, Ed from Swimming sent me this video, and it's this little fat kid wearing a white t-shirt in a pool mm-hmm. <laughs> and he gets out and you can see through it and then they ask him why do you have a t-shirt on the pool he says well so no one will make fun of me and oh, you can no. totally see <laughs> you're like uh it's just as bad or worse I was like where did uh, ed find this stuff? on the internet <laughs> i felt kind of sad for the kid <laughs> oh so no one will make fun of me then right. take your shirt off because you're better off right when he put a white t-shirt oh bless his heart <laughs> it was pretty Ed Ed was dying. He oh, was laughing no. so hard. You got to see this video when you sent it to me. And I was like, holy God. Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Don't wear shirts in a pool. Right. Right. Remember, folks, our podcast, if you like it, please tell a friend. Subscribe to us. Rate follow us, us a five. Follow us. All that stuff helps us out on iTunes or Spotify or Audible or whatever you Where you listen to on Stitcher, our whatever you listen to. That really helps us out a lot more than you think, and we really appreciate it. Yep. So, Kiki? Yes, darling. It's that time. It's time to go to church. Last call. <laughs> Last call before church. Last call. Who are we cheers in today? Um, we discussed this, and I literally can't remember what we said. <laughs> We discussed who we're going to cheers today. The hey, kid with ski goggles. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> like, I can't remember. We're going to cheers my mom for we last were? last week in oh, church. Oh, my um, gosh. What did she do last week in church that we thought was so funny? Going to church with your parents is an experience. We're going tonight. Right. So I can only imagine what's going to happen this evening. We're So last week, they came with us, and the priest is literally preparing, like, the sacraments. So it's real quiet in the church. Real quiet. Mind you, I sit by my mom. We talk the whole time. Right. So your mom, like, hits you, like, hey, and it's like, your dad's watch. It's rose gold. I, the whole entire church had to hear it. <laughs> had to hear it. I was like, oh, my God. Worst timing I ever. I thought it was great. Like, he, the priest is, like, get body of Christ and is sitting there, and she's like, rose gold. <laughs> well, it's a bullet boring at that time. <laughs> I'm sure everyone around her appreciated it. Yeah. <laughs> As you're like supposed to be praying She's or something. She's going to think you're picking on her when she hears this. Well, I'm not picking on her. I'm just stating a fact. It's very entertaining. <laughs> but I was just like, oh, no. Okay. It's like that one time when Skylar yelled oh, something yes. in the middle of mass and embarrassed no, the, the shit the out of us. The priest was like asking something. Like it didn't want an actual a, answer. A question that it's obviously Rhetorical a no question. answer. And no answer. Skylar, she thought everyone was going to answer. And she's uh, answer yes and, at that. And she's like, no. Oh, yeah. She yells out the opposite answer. And the whole church oh. looks at us almost like, oh, my God, I'm mortified. My yes. Kid, like, my mm-hmm. kids uh, needs to go to confession to now. Yeah. yeah. The priest just looks over, huh? So then she, we made her go apologize. Yeah. She didn't like that. So you better, well, go, you better go talk to him. <laughs> maybe your mom should have just shown the priest that your dad's watch. And that. Well, thing. I was telling you that one time I had to go to, I had to, go to confession for drawing right. devil faces in my catechism book. Well. I thought the yeah. priest was going to beat me. And then I say, He's like, I was teasing my sister. I say bad words once in a while. I drew devil faces in my catechism book, and I am started flinching like he's going to whack me. And he goes, is that all, my son? I'm like, oh, yeah. is this it? Oh, I this got is easy. this. I'll keep doing it. I'll keep doing it. I was more afraid of my dad than freaking that. The my priest? Da- yeah, the priest I, was, well. yeah, I mean, the, pre- the priest uh, didn't do anything. I went home. My dad beat me. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Oh, believe me, I'm sure I got a good spanking for that. Well, you you probably or that or the 17 other things you did that day. Right. <laughs> right. That was the least of my parents' problems. Right. Me drawing devil faces in my catechism. Probably book. so. <laughs> Subscribe or follow us on wherever you listen to your podcast, or just go to our website at www.lifewitheric.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media for updates and a closer look into my life with Eric. To all of our listeners out there, remember, it's always happy hour here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Love you, baby. Love you.